Tension in the Scandinavian region continues to grow every year, and the Nordic countries are looking for ways to strengthen their national security. This is where the JAS-39 Gripen fighters come into play, these being one of the most important components of the region's defense strategy. In today's video, we'll be telling you why this Swedish aircraft makes Russian generals nervous, especially with Sweden and Finland joining NATO. Modern fighters are usually developed by giant transatlantic consortiums of firms from around the world. Given this fact, it's particularly impressive that a country of 10 million people was able to successfully develop and maintain its own multi-role fighter program. We're talking about Sweden and its domestic company, Saab AB, which created one of the best fighter interceptors in the world, JAS-39, with the formidable nickname Gripen. In the late 1970s, Sweden decided to replace the aging Saab J-35 Draken and Saab J-A-37 Vegan fleet, feeling the need for an affordable Mach 2 and good short field performance for a defensive dispersed basing plan in the event of an invasion. One of the main requirements for the future aircraft was smaller dimensions than its predecessor, the J-A-37 but with equal or improved payload performance. Additionally, Sweden still adhered to the concept of dispersed air bases called BAS-90, developed and used by the country's Air Force during the Cold War. Its goal was to have about 200 airstrips of various types for military use throughout Sweden. Unlike the original idea called BAS-60, in the improved BAS-90 concept, new short runways were built in close proximity and directly connected to the main airfield and to each other via taxiways, oftentimes also with sections of public roads, usage being integrated into the underlying infrastructure. What was this for? A key goal held by the Saab team that designed the Gripen was its ability to operate from a snow-covered runway only 1,600 feet long and 55 feet wide. Spoiler alert, they did it! The short turnaround time for the new fighter was no more than 10 minutes, during which a team of one technician and five recruits could rearm, refuel, and perform the necessary scheduled checks and maintenance before returning to flight. But let's go back to 1979, when the Swedish authorities began a study that soon transformed into a future air platform with the abbreviation Jacked Attack Spanning, or JAS, hinting at the multifunctionality of the device, namely air-to-air, air-to-surface, and reconnaissance. Yes, and Gripen, Griffin, did not come from nowhere, because it's this mythical beast that's flaunted on the Saab logo. Specialists formed several projects, eventually figuring out the exact necessary characteristics of the fighter. It was supposed to be a light single-engine single-seat fighter with aerodynamically unstable design and fly-by-wire, made in the duck aerodynamic scheme, like the earlier model JA-37 Vegan, and the French Dassault Rafale, which appeared in the same time period. In June 1982, after the approval of the Swedish parliament, the FMV agency signed a contract with Saab for five prototypes and the first batch of 30 production Gripen in the amount of $4.58 billion, or $27.5 billion sec. The canard and relatively low weight of about 15,000 pounds make the multi-purpose Gripen an extremely maneuverable aircraft, capable of flying at an angle of attack of 70 to 80 degrees. Furthermore, the intentional instability of the design, characteristic of the latest generations of combat aircraft, as well as fly-by-wire, allowed designers to eliminate many flight restrictions that worsen controllability and increase drag in the predecessors of the JAS-39. The JAS-39 engines, a Volvo RM12 bypass turbojet engine, developed on the basis of the American General Electric F404, which is the heart of the McDonnell Douglas F-A18 Hornet, and Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk. The fan was completely redesigned with thickened first-stage blades which deform, causing the thrust loss, but do not fracture or cause downstream damage to pass more flow for higher thrust and to be more tolerant of a bird strike. Engine subsystems and components were redesigned for ease of maintenance, and its modular design, dividing the engine into seven separate parts, allows them to be replaced independently. Also, while the JAS-39 is not stealthy, the RM-12's intakes are designed to minimize radar reflection from its fan, reducing the aircraft's overall radar cross-section. By 2010, according to a Volvo Aero spokesman, Gripen fighters had flown over 143,000 hours without a single RM-12 engine failure or incident. He emphasized that this must be a hard record to beat for a single engine application. However, future aircraft modifications, JAS-39E and JAS-39F, were equipped with more powerful General Electric RM-16, also known as F414 GE-39E. They gave the Gripen 20% more thrust than the RM-12, 
allowing the aircraft to supercruise at supersonic speeds without the use of afterburners. In other words, now the Swedish fighter could carry out combat duty at a speed of Mach 1.1, carrying an air-to-air -air combat load. By the way, about that. In addition to the 27mm Mauser BK-27 cannon, the Gripen can carry AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles, and RBS-15 anti-ship missiles. But after a major upgrade of the JAS-39 weapons completed in 2010, the aircraft could be equipped with European long-range MBDA Meteor missiles, short-range IRIS-T missiles, as well as GBU-49 laser-guided bombs of the Paveway series. Often, the JAS-39 carries about 14,330 pounds of various weapons and equipment, including external sensors for reconnaissance and target designation. For example, lightning targeting pod from Israeli Rafael, modular reconnaissance pod system from Saab, or digital joint reconnaissance pod from French Thales. The advanced and integrated grip and electronic warfare system operates in an undetectable passive mode or in active mode, jamming enemy radars. And in 2013, Swedish fighters became the first aircraft with Celex ES active bright cloud disposable jammers. In addition to this, in 2014, the JAS-39 was equipped with a self-defense module with enhanced survivability technology, designed to counter defensive missiles. The Saab team described the Gripen as a swing roll aircraft, capable of instantly switching between rolls at the touch of a button, while changing the human-machine interface and optimizing with the computer in response to different situations and threats. In order to give their offspring a service life of at least 50 years, Saab engineers designed it with minimal maintenance requirements. Its main systems in the form of engines and radar are modular to reduce operating costs and increase the reliability of the device. That is, even despite a solid service life, the latest sensors, computers, and weapons can still be integrated into Swedish fighters as these technologies develop. One of the main factors behind why the Gripen attracts many foreign customers even today is most certainly its low operating costs. According to aviation magazine Flea Griven's issue for 2021, the price of a JAS-39 flight hour is no more than $5,000, an insanely low figure compared to its colleagues, such as the American F-35 with a figure of $41,986 per hour, F-A-18E F with a price of $30,404 per hour, and even the European Eurofighter Typhoon, which according to various sources, eats up about $20,000 per flight hour. By 2016, Sweden had delivered 158 aircraft to other countries, and the current Gripen operators today are Brazil, Czech Republic, Hungary, South Africa, Thailand, and the UK. If we're talking about the price of the fighter itself, then today, a modification of the American F-35A Lightning II will cost foreign buyers $70.2 million, while the price for one Gripen is significantly more, about $85 million. On the other hand, the cost of its operation, as we found out earlier, is incomparably lower. Since the appearance of the first Gripen in the sky in December of 1988 up to 2020, Saab has delivered more than 271 of these fighters, and the devices themselves have received many modifications. The original versions of the JAS-39A entered service with the Swedish Air Force in 1996, and were later upgraded to the JAS-39C or JAS-39D standard. The JAS-39C, which appeared in September of 2002, is a single-seat version of the fighter jet compliant with NATO standards, with advanced weapons and electronic capabilities, as well as in-flight refueling capability. The JAS-39D is a two-seat version of the JAS-39C, but without the internal cannon and fuel tank, due to the placement of a second crew member and life support system, due to which the airframe was lengthened by 2.2 feet. The Gripen Next Generation, or NG, now designated JAS-39E and JAS-39F, was the first iteration of the original to receive a major redesign with a larger fuselage, more powerful F414G engine, Raven ES-05 AESA radar, two additional hardpoints and increased payload, and new cockpit, avionics architecture, electronic warfare system, and other improvements depending on the needs of the operating countries. Other modifications include Grip and Aggressor, the weaponless JAS-39C and JAS-39D models for red cells for the UK's air support to defense operational training ASDOT requirement and part of the US Air Force's adversary air ad air opportunity grip and maritime a version of the fighter proposed as an aircraft carrier of interest to Brazil and India Gripen's UCAV is an unnamed modification of the JAS-39 proposed by Saab Gripen EA, Electronic Warfare or Electronic Attack version of the JAS-39. 
Since the end of the Cold War, neutral Sweden has weakened its military posture by cutting defense spending and conducting fewer exercises, focusing on domestic issues, anticipating a period of security calm. But in recent decades, Russia's increasingly demonstrated its immense territorial hunger, showing maximum aggression towards all European neighbors, annexing Crimea, invading Georgia, and then attacking Ukraine. Seeing this, Sweden's rapidly increasing its readiness and ability to conduct active military operations in order to repel a potential attack from its aggressive neighbor. Regularly posturing nuclear weapons. Take the incident that occurred in March 2013, when Russian Tu-23M3 backfire bombers and CY-27 flanker fighters staged an unannounced simulated nuclear strike on Stockholm and other alleged targets in southern Sweden. And although NATO countries take turns guarding the airspace of the Baltic Sea, Sweden carries out this mission for its own national purposes and is closer to Russia than NATO planes generally fly. After the Russian attack on Ukraine, Sweden and Finland made the final decision to join NATO, quickly gaining approval from all members of the North Atlantic Alliance, with the exception of Turkey and Hungary, who refused to support Sweden's accession to the alliance. However, should we really be surprised at such support if both Sweden and Finland achieved full interoperability with NATO 15 years ago? Ankara said it will be ready to continue discussing Sweden's entry into NATO in June 2023. Hungary, on the other hand, has once again demonstrated its close ties with Russia, which is why behind the scenes, Western officials and experts are asking a fair question. Is it worth trusting such a verdict to a participant whose opinions closely affiliated with the bloody Kremlin regime and its money? One way or another, we believe that the issue of Sweden's membership in NATO will be resolved as soon as possible, and the Nordic region will be reliably covered by the wings of Gripen and NATO forces protecting citizens from madmen who expose themselves and the whole world to the risk of starting a nuclear war. But now it's your turn to tell us which feature of the JAS-39 Gripen interested you the most. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.